most people are focusing on the 90% of the stuff that doesn't matter. Intermittent fasting, keto, hit training, buying Pelotons, etc. So all of that stuff is like, we can use it as tools, but a lot of people try to hack the system. They're like, oh, I'm doing intermittent fasting. Like that's gonna get, no, it's not. It can be a tool for some of you and it can be the wrong tool for some of you. And so there's this misunderstanding. People are trying to like hack the system and essentially they're focused on the stuff that yields this much result. The biggest difference for us is we focus on the 10% of things that yield 90% of the results. So in the same amount of time, you get literally 10X result as you used to. Some of the people that have gone through our stuff literally say like, I couldn't believe it was that easy. And I'm not telling like, it's simple for some of you, if you just make the decision, it's easy. You just need a plan. And for some of you, like we're gonna go through some stuff, right? And then the last one is like, you play stupid games to win stupid medals. What does that mean? Here's a guy down here that would, he did fucking 75 hard for like three times on the left. And he's like, oh dude, I'm doing 75 hard. I'm doing two days of workouts. And I'm like, stop dude. I'm like, Dustin, I haven't done a fucking two a day since 2010, literally 2010 when I was playing in the national football league. I promise any person on this call, like in order to get these results, you don't have to do a two a day. You don't have to feel bad if you like miss a workout. That's not how this thing works, right? And so so a lot of times and then the other stuff is the dude on the left up here in the army pants he was doing iron man training he was doing a bunch of iron mans and long races and i'm like brian why are you doing this dude and he said well it's because i want it and, and he had this answer i'm like do you actually even care about how you look because what you're telling me is like you're asking me about a six pack and then you're telling me what you're doing and it has no correlation. And so if you just do what I tell you, you don't actually have to train for Iron Man stuff if you don't want to, and you can look and feel like a savage and perform like a maniac if that's what you want. And he's like, yeah, I do want that. I just thought that it would be like easier to, to get all that with training for an Iron Man. I'm like, no, it's not. A lot of times we're addicted to the hard thing because we wanna make ourselves the hero of our own story. Like Ryan's a guy that's like, dude, that was the easiest shit I've ever done. And he goes from doing this, like literally killing himself in workouts to like just following a plan and looking like this. Problem number three, a lot of people, maybe you, maybe not you, they value things over themselves. And so what does that mean, right? Well, the best way to demonstrate value is understanding what you invest into because money is energy, right? And usually people invest into things that they value. Like some people value Louis Vuitton bags, it's clear, right? They invest and that's not a smart investment by the way, but they're spending their money on stuff that is valuable to them right? For whatever reason. And so the question I always ask people is like, look, how much money have you invested into you this year? Because that's essentially how important you are to yourself. Like I've been in the fitness industry for years and years and years. And I've always had a fitness coach. I've always had a business coach. I've always paid mentors. Why? Because they have a proven track record and I value my time more than I value my money. 